Right off the bat, when I got my Android 12 version of Mi Air 13 for my Redmi Note 9 Pro, I have a lot of things to say about this update, both good and bad of course. And the ultimate question is, should you update right now? Well, I will answer all of that in this video. Hey guys, James here, your tech buddy, and this is Tech MNO. For almost two weeks now, I have been using and observing the new Mi 13 with Android 12 update on my Redmi Note 9 Pro backup phone and not on my daily driver phone, which is also the same kind, for reasons I will tackle a little later. But with enough experience in a quite short time, I can now say that I am a bit disappointed in some aspects somehow, just to be clear. Before we proceed to the video, I would like to point out that there are some features that are present on some phones like the flagship ones that are not available on my phone at the time of this recording. So if I miss anything, it means that it's not available on my phone. Also, there will be some timestamps on the video once available. So without further ado, here are the things that I like and don't like on the MIUI 13 update on my phone. The update size of the version 13.0.1.sjzmixm is about 2.7 gig, so better have enough storage before updating, okay? But also, I highly suggest doing a factory reset once the update is done. It's quite tedious, not gonna lie, but it's better to do it so that the previous issues you had before that shall be fixed in this update will be removed. And after the update is done and it reboots and oh my god, my anxiety attacks. Woo. What the hell, Xiaomi? Instead of the MIUI 12.5 boot animation, you gave us this? A simple and static Xiaomi logo and I don't know if God knows this update and the phone will boot successfully. It took me 53 seconds from the time that I clicked the power button, finished the booting process, and went straight to the lock screen. It gave me 60 seconds of anxiety with this slow boot time. And I know and I know that it's the shutdown. Duh. But I'm sorry to say that it's also the same time as when I restart the phone and it's still open. It's still much lower than the MIUI 12.5 update that only takes 30 seconds to boot. Ugh. The first change that I see is the new control center. And when I swipe it down, I feel sad now. As what C4E Tech says in his MIUI 13 video, can you see some resemblance to the other UIs? Well, for me, the similarities are in canny. I won't say what it is, just drop your answers in the comment section down below. The control center puts the volume slider from the bottom and in the horizontal sliding position to a vertical sliding position next to the volume slider. So I'm happy and agreed that there should be a volume slider there, but for the brightness slider on top of it? No, thank you. I hate it. Our phones are getting bigger and bigger, and as one of my most used actions on the control center in MIUI, this is a wrong move. Since it's hard to access it now, I go to the settings and activate the one-handed mode which Android 12 has wound up now baked into the OS. Thank god I can finally control my weight. What? I can't control the brightness slider properly? Xiaomi bug alert! <sighs> mm. Well, we are in a disappointing start in our MIUI 13 update journey now, but let's talk about the animations and the UI smoothness. To be honest with you, in terms of the everyday usage of my almost two weeks with this update, I can say that it's 90% smooth, but with some issues of course. The first thing that I notice is the zooming animations of the phone when opening and closing an app. That really resembles the animations of iOS compared to the other UIs in the market does not have this kind of animation. And some other commenters on my YouTube Shorts video about Mi 13 they're wondering where do I get the animation. Well, I don't know how. It's probably the new animation feature in MIUI 13. Do I like it? Well, to be honest with you, I kind of like it. It gives a personality with the phone and how it interacts with your usage. If you don't like it, you can change it by going to the settings, home screen, and animation speed, then turn it to fast. And since we are on the topic of settings, let's talk about the font of the MIUI 13 called Mi Sans that's present on the settings. 
after I went side by side with my daily driver phone to my backup Redmi Note 9 Pro here, I really noticed that the font is much bolder and chunkier if that's a better word to explain. And when I changed the size of the font one size down, I kind of hate it and went back to the default. What bothers me is the side spacing of the settings page from left to right. There's like a quarter of a millimeter space on it on the phone once I go there. There's some wasted space on it. I kind of wish that Xiaomi used that space and did not compress it a bit too much. Alright, let's talk about the theming on the Mirror 13 with Android 12. And I gotta say this right now. If you're wishing that the color picking technique Google introduced on Android 12 that Oppo and OnePlus also implemented on their UIs on their phones, you only get a tiny piece of it here. Yes, the Themes app is broad with a lot of designs to it by third-party developers, but be honest with me, did you really even use it? Alright, wallpaper theming with color access is only available on Google Apps and not on Xiaomi's proprietary apps and settings. So this decision is kinda sad for me because it will make my phone a bit cohesive with colors. Before we go any further, if you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you get you notified when a brand new video will come out. And follow us on our social media accounts like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok at TechMNO for more content and big giveaways that we have right now that you can check out in the card right here. Alright, before we move on to the major changes of the MIUI 13 update, let's have a rundown on some minor visuals or button changes on the UI. First is the video toolbox feature. It has been renamed as Sidebar. I think of it as a correct name to describe it, it's just like we see on Samsung and Oppo phones. Swipe from either left or right side to exit on the apps in floating mode. Next is Game Turbo, also known as Game Space. It's already gone on settings, but you can still find it on the security app, then swipe all the way down to activate it and have its shortcut. Though unfortunately, Voice Changer is still not available on the Redmi Note 9 Pro. Google Lens app is now gone and you can only access it with the camera app which is also has an overall design to it. And finally, the MIUI Smart Player is not now available on the control center but the update though, there's an option in the settings. Um, Xiaomi wear this. And now, we will tackle the two of the major features that for me is the most important but unfortunately has been missing from the MIUI 13 update. And that is the widgets and the screen on time feature on the battery. Let's begin with the new update widgets which are available only for China ROM MIUI users. When I saw the, the early builds of MIUI 13, I was excited to have the widgets that Xiaomi developed for their UI and hope that they will be ported it to their global ROMs. But when I saw the global ROMs of MIUI 13 with Android 12 and the widgets were not included on the update, I was disappointed with it. I know Xiaomi's home turf has some advantages, but do keep in mind that they have a lot of fan base outside of China, okay? So I'm sad about this move. <laughs> and finally, the most important feature for me that they've removed on MIUI 13 is the screen on time feature on the battery. This is an important thing for me because I can measure how many hours I use my phone and see if there's a battery drain issue on the update which Xiaomi is super notorious with it. So this will be the final blow to me to say that this update is a letdown. With all of the things I found and experienced with the MIUI 13 update with Android 12, the ultimate question now is, should you update your phone now? If you are scared to update because of the long-standing issue of Xiaomi bringing buggy updates to their phones, that's one of my issues on my daily driver phone so that's why I not updated to MIUI 13 and then you found the MIUI 13 as an incremental UI change and you don't care on the Android security patches because even that thing can provide by Xiaomi as fast as possible, you have the option not to update your phone to MIUI 13. If you will ask me as a person who experienced a lot of problems and issues on MIUI before, like my Poco M3 Deadboot video that's been a major issue to some users, not just in the Philippines, but in India and some Southeast Asian countries, you can watch in the card right here. And I can say that for my phone and experience for this update, it's a good update and I never had big issues when we're talking stability-wise on the UI 
right now okay right now with that said while i give kudos to xiaomi to put the update here as somewhat smooth on my redmi note 9 pro with the bugs and feature removals that i encountered on mi 13 like also on some redmi note 9s users what buggy software and some of them have boot loop and dead boot issues i was so disappointed that there's no big improvement on the software especially for global rom users who doesn't have the other refresh updates and since this is the last Android upgrade for my Redmi Note 9 Pro, I will just wait for this phone to stop working or have damages on it. And maybe I will go to another phone brands. A little bit of disappointment here. Will you update your Xiaomi phone to Mi 13? Have you experienced any other issues when you update your phone to the newest update? Let me know in the comment section down below. And for more videos like this, you can check out my review playlist right here. Or if you want to watch my previous video, click right here and don't forget to subscribe to our main and second channel again i'm your tech buddy james and i will catch you guys on the next one